Good morning children. Today in this video I am going to teach you present continuous tense. Let's first see the uses of present continuous tense. So first use is actions which are happening at or around the moment of speaking. So present tense का use हम कहाँ करते हैं? When the action is going on at the time of speaking. When the when it is used to show that an action is going on is happening now. कि वो action अभी हो रहा है. Either at the moment या तो उसी moment और now ना is going to be happen या तो future में होगा. So उसके लिए हम present continuous tense का use करेंगे. Just as now I am doing the washing up. Yes, she is working very hard nowadays. Are you watching TVs? So these are the examples of present continuous tense. Or in the sentence, actions which is going on at the time of speaking. जब हम बोल रहे हैं that time that action is going on at the time of speaking. Or might be it may be happening. It is going to take place in the near future. तो उसके लिए हमें present continuous tense का use होगा. Second use is है Temporary situation. Temporary situation के लिए भी present continuous tense का use होगा. Just as I am staying with a friend at the moment. Mean at present moment I am staying with the friend. So यहाँ पर भी हम present continuous tense का use कर सकते हैं. To describe future arrangements, future events which are going to take place in the near future, you can use present continuous tense. So they are celebrating a party next weekend. So these are the examples. Mean this party is going to be organized in the near future, in the next weekend. So to describe action which are going to happen in the near future, you can use present continuous tense. Let's see some example of present continuous tense. Just as here a boy is playing. At the moment I am playing football. He is saying when someone is asking to him, कोई से पूछ रहा है, what are you doing? So he is saying I am playing the football. At the moment mean when someone is asking at the particular time at that moment he is playing football. I am playing football. He is saying so this is the examples of present continuous tense. Let's see another example of present continuous tense. In this picture. A man is running. So someone is asking, is he playing football or at the moment? No, he isn't playing football. He is running. Mean at the time of what the person what the is doing is important in this tense. At the time, aap kya kar rahe hai, wo important hai. So present continuous tense is used to express an action which is happening at the time of speaking. Jab hum bol rahe hai aur wo action kar rahe hai, तो वहाँ पर आप प्रेजेंट कॉन्टीन्यूस टेंस का यूज़ करेंगे जैसे ऐसे ही दैट आई एम लर्निंग इंग्लिश आई एम रीडिंग लैटो सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ प्रेजेंट कॉन्टीन्यूस टेंस लेट्स सी वन मोर एग्जाम्पल वॉट शी इज डूइंग इन दिस पिक्चर सो एट द मोमेंट शी इज ड्रॉइंग अ पिक्चर ड्रॉ इज द कॉन्टीन्यूस एक्शन वैन यू आर आस्किंग टू हर वॉट आर यू ड्रॉइंग So she is saying, I am drawing a picture. If you are asking the Twitty, what are you doing? What is Twitty doing? He is saying, it's flying. I am flying. Changing situation. So yesterday it was very sunny. But now today is raining more and more. So the today's present situation is describing. No? So to describe present situation, present current situation, you use present continuous tense. Let's see the structure of present continuous tense. Let's see first affirmative structure. This tense is formed with is am are, and after is am are, first form of the verb will be used. And after, in with the verb, we have to put ing form, and then we have to put object. So for making structure. For making sentence, we have to follow this structure. So, with subject, according to the subject, we have to use this helping verb. These is are is am are. So, is will be used for with singular subject. Am will be used with I, and are will be used with plural subjects. And after using helping verb, you will use verb first form with ing. Then you will use object. Let's see some examples of present continuous tense. Let's see affirmative examples with play using verb. Just as sing, uh, I is using 
with i you will write m and you can write m also as a short form and you use u v they with these plural subject you will use r r you can use r short form also we you they are playing you are playing we are playing and with the singular subject he she it you will use s and you can say he is playing she is playing it is playing so through this we get to know how we use the helping verb according to the subjects let's see the interrogative and negative structures in interrogative structure you have to put helping verb before the subjects before the subject you have to use the helping verb so before i you will use am before you we they you will use are before is before he she it you will use is so before subjects you have to put these helping verbs and then you will put verb first form with ing just as am i playing are you playing are we playing are they playing is he playing is she playing is it playing so these are the structure of making interrogative sentences of this text now let's see the negative structure with using verb play just as after this after helping verb you have to put not are not am not is not so i am not you are not we are not playing they are not playing he is not playing she isn't playing it isn't playing so these are the short contracted forms of these helping verbs just say you aren't just as you aren't playing we aren't playing they aren't playing i am not playing she isn't playing he is not playing so these are the contracted form which are used in this sentence so in the negative structure you have to put not after the auxiliary verbs helping verbs am are is are the helping verb of the of this tense so after this you will put not and you can make the negative structure time expressions which are used in present continuous tense are now you can use this adverb in this tense at the moment at present today nowadays these week so these are the time expression which are used in present continuous tense they are not throwing snowballs to each other they are throwing snowballs now so these are the time expression which will be used in the present continuous tense let's see some verb spelling rules so when you are adding ing with the verb you have to do this listen plus ing so you use listening so you have to put ing this is a simple you can put only ing in some words you have to remove the e words i words just as die in die plus ing so you have to remove ie and you have to add y in spite of this so d y i n g you have to use this verb just as in write in so in the writing write plus i n g so you have to remove e and you have to put i n g there writing just as hopping h o p hop hopping jump so you have to put one more p plus i n g then hopping just as in the travel you have to put one more l then you will add traveling now you can use and make ing forms of each verb begin beginning rubbing listening lying swimming studying happening put coming deciding trying admitting using get getting so you can use you can make ing form of these verbs these are the ing form beginning rubbing listening lying swimming studying happening getting using admitting trying deciding coming putting now you can make different different types of sentences according to the structure whether you want to make affirmative negative and interrogative and you can use time expression while preparing this tense so these are the adverbs which will be used in the present continuous tense we have discussed the uses of this tense 
we have discussed the structure of this and how to make the sentences and we have seen the time expressions in spite of this we have seen spelling rules so you can by using all these things you can use and you can make various sentences thank you for watching this video